Croatian Night Hearts Ukrainian Night Hush Fun Club. This is Toronto, Canada. This today is uh, September 20th, 2012, and we are great. We have great opportunity to talk to Thomas of Night Hush. Well, hello, Thomas. How are you today? Hello, mate. I'm doing great. We, actually, our bus broke down early today, so we had a bit of a oh. hassle, and that's why the sound check was a little bit late and all that. But uh, it's part of what touring is all about, so. Everything's fixed now. Yeah, okay, I can understand that. So, now you're all excited about uh, the show now, so should you expect something special today? Every single night is special, that's the way we like to think about it. It's not like, you know, you want to try to change the whole thing radically every night. I mean, the set list has formed what it is uh, throughout these few months that we have been touring and I don't see any point why we should go and change it too radically because now it's really the way we want it to be. The whole drama of the acoustics and everything, it really works. So we change approximately two to three songs per night, but uh, like the basis of the set list remains the same. Okay, I can understand that. Yep. Uh, so uh, you on the tour, I mean this year, right? So can you tell a few words about it, just in general words? Yeah, we started off in January in Los Angeles. We had two shows there. That was followed by a um, uh, heavy metal cruise in Florida. Then we had the European tour, uh, Russia, Ukraine, uh, summer festivals, and now we're here in the US. Okay, yeah, that's a great one. You have a big tour in the US, right? I mean, in North America. Yeah, we have five weeks. 25 shows, two of them in Canada. Okay. So, you know, with all this stuff, I mean, like traveling, moving all the time, probably sleep this night, uh, is it hard? I mean, it probably should be a great pleasure, also, right? I mean, from gigs. So, what is the pleasure for, for the band to come on, you know, from gigs, taking gigs? I mean, this is the best stuff there is in playing. That's what we want to do. And, uh, I mean, I don't want to be anywhere else. I want to be on tour. I want to be. And I know that in four weeks I'll be home. I get to be by myself for two weeks in the middle of the woods. I need that as well. But I like—I love the fact that it all goes in cycles. And also, I, I never sleep anywhere better than in a tour. Wow, really? <laughs> That's nice, actually. Yeah. Well, <laughs> okay, so uh, can I ask you a little bit extraordinary questions, probably? Like, for example, let's imagine that you can choose any season of the year, right? So which one would you choose? Winter. Winter, yeah. Can you explain why, probably? I love the beauty of winter. I like how the nature is sleeping beneath the white, beautiful things, all the snow. And there's just something that I like about the coldness and the dark. I couldn't take it all year around, no way. But uh, if I had to mention my favorite season, it would be winter. I can't stand when it's plus 30. Yeah. Just, and, uh, one of the biggest mysteries of mankind for me is how can people stay on the beaches just by the sun for hours and hours. Oh, yeah. And then they call it vacation. That's something that I just don't grasp. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, so, you have seen many countries right now in mean, Red Bull. You can get right? Yep. You have seen really yeah. many countries, probably. What is the city, probably, of the country which amazed you? The place which you, you yeah, I'm trying to think. Uh, probably Australia. Australia. Yeah, it's my favorite country in the world after oh. Finland, of course. But <laughs> there's just something really unique and special about that. The the atmosphere, the people, the nature, all that. So that would be my choice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, what is now in your headphones? So you're in tour, probably listening to music, right? I don't know. No? I, I don't even own headphones. Oh really? I don't have an iPad. <laughs> I don't have iPads. I have nothing like that. Oh ah, okay. The only way I listen to music is from a CD. Oh okay. So what is on your headphones then? Like you listen to CD, right? I just listen Which to CDs at home from a CD oh, player. Oh, let's see. And in the car. That's it. Okay. So uh, can you talk a little bit about imaginary movie? It's exactly two weeks ago that I saw it for the first time, and then I saw it two days ago in uh, Montreal for the second time. Okay. Uh, I was just blown away by it. I, I think 
it really is a labor of love and it looks like what we are as a band. It's a really weird movie, it's crazy and it takes a while to understand what what is this, what's going on, who are these characters. And the storytelling type is a bit weird but uh, it's challenging but it's also rewarding and I'm really really proud of how it turned out to be. And it looks really good. I mean, the special effects are yeah. really convincing. <laughs> so we're looking forward to see. Probably, can you describe it as an epic movie? No, no, it's not an epic movie. No. Okay. I mean, we only had a budget of about 3 million euros. There's only so much you can do with that money. Okay. Yes. It's not. A, I mean, and it's only 80 minutes long, so it's quite short. Um, was there any, like, uh, probably during while shooting, any funny moments inside the crew, you know, after any funny moments you uh, remember? Well, I was there only for about five days shooting our parts, and they were there for months. So they, they might have some stories, but I didn't witness anything particularly funny. Okay, and uh, what do you say about, like, in book, like, about your experience being involved? Well, we weren't really acting in the movie. None of us have any lines. We are just a small cameo role in two scenes. So the band is not acting in the movie at all. Okay. So what's different I mean, from making, for example, a video clip? It was exactly like making a video really? clip, actually. Yeah, because we were there as a band playing in the background, and the director said, one, two, three, go, and then we played the song okay. about five, six times, and that's it. Okay, yeah, that's nice. Well, tonight, which concert in Kiev, Ukraine, can you remember the concert, the show? I can remember something, yeah. There's so many shows in different countries, you can't remember all the details. I remember the night train really well, from <laughs> Moscow to Kiev. That was an adventure, but a really nice one. And I remember the venue, yeah. I remember the Finnish ambassador came to greet us. Because she comes from the same city where I'm from. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I remember it being a really nice, heartwarming show. Yeah. And did you get what you expected for? Some of the Absolutely. The best hotel breakfast I've oh. ever had anywhere. Really? Yes. I can't remember the name of the hotel. Yeah, that, that they was... They actually have it here in Toronto too. Really? Really, I saw that. Yeah. Okay. Like a few weeks ago. Yeah. That was phenomenal. I've never had fresh sushi in you know, a breakfast. In a breakfast. Yeah. And all the weird fruits from all over the world and like 10 different fresh juices and it was the best ever. Really. So, uh, finally, would you like to come back to Ukraine one day? Absolutely. And not on another day as well. It was the first time, wasn't it? Yes, that it was the first time. Yeah, yes. definitely. And I have nothing but good things to say about it, so oh. absolutely. Okay, then. Yeah. So, um, can we speak about a little bit about future plans? Right now it's all about uh, releasing the movie mm -hmm. in a couple of months and uh, trying to survive and enjoy this tour. Oh. <laughs> it's gonna, we're still going to uh, do UK, the film premiere in Finland, the 10th of November. Then there's going to be South American leg. Australia, New Zealand, then we're gonna take a break a few months and do some festivals in 2013 during the summer and that's it. And that's it, right? After that it's all about the next album. Okay, so do you have any ideas about next album, like probably lyrics, melodies, I don't know? Loads. Loads, wow. So like, should we expect something different or something, uh, another big thing like Maginairo? I'm not quite sure yet what it's gonna be like. I, I don't wanna think about it too much in advance. I mean songwriting for me is like just let the mind flow and see what comes up. And at some point start to decide with the band that what, what are we gonna do. But definitely you need to have a hook for each album. You need mm -hmm. to kind of challenge yourself and not do the same thing again. So we're definitely not gonna do like a symphonic album with a movie. Oh, okay. The next one, because we're doing that now. Yeah, okay. And one more big thing, like, uh, you know, you use really a lot of orchestra in each album, I mean, in the last albums, right? So can we expect, like, to probably see one day 
live performance with big orchestra? I would be really surprised if we never saw that. Oh, okay. So this is the answer, right? There is a, yeah. Not on this tour, but at some point. The whole thing really screams for it. Okay. It's it's been in our in our minds for the past eight years or something that we need to do it. But you know, bands like Opeth and uh, With Implementation have done it so well that uh, you kind of want to find a new angle to do it. Okay. Okay, and the very, very final question is like, do you have guys like common dream inside the band? The dream you share probably? To have a show on uh, South Pacific Polynesian Island one mm. day. Okay, really? That's something that we talked about at some point that would be really cool. To be able to play in Vanuatu or Fiji or something. <laughs> Yeah, that's great. So we can just combine like location and playing, right? Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, this exactly. would be nice. Yeah. That would be nice. Yeah. So thank you very much for the view. Yep. We are all looking forward to see the show. It would be amazing, I think. Yeah, as usual. Right. Yeah, there's a good vibe in the air, so let's see what yeah. happens. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Yep.